Welcome back to another tutorial on Binary Lunar Channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to create integrated circuit glow effect on your maybe an FT card or any other surfaces or maybe for 2D games. So this applies to any kind of video games. Uh, so without any delays, let's get started. We will be using Unity Shader Graph, so let's create a new project using the 3D sample scene Universal Render Pipeline URP template. I'm using currently Unity 2020.3.29. Feel free to use any other versions. I started by downloading the circuit texture. I provided the link down in the description. Feel free to download that or any other texture. We will use that as a mask to render the light glows behind it. Also, I downloaded a black metal, brushed black metal texture to be used as the main background for the card. Also, I used the card model, which I created in the previous tutorial for the holographic NFT card. So if you didn't watch that tutorial, it's a great chance to watch it now. So let's create a new lit shader graph and let's name it circuit shader. Open that shader graph and let's start by creating sample texture 2D node and add a property uh, texture 2D and name it the main texture. We will use the black brushed metal texture there and we need also to control the tiling and offset of this texture to cover the surface or of our card. So create a tiling and offset node connected to the UV and we need two new properties to control the tiling and offset. Both of them are vector 2. The first one is for the tiling and the second one is for, for the offset. For tiling, we can set as default for 1 by 1. For the offset, the default is 0 by 0. Let's connect everything to the albedo or the color in the master node and select the black brushed metal texture to the base color save and let's see if we got that texture on our card and of course as usual we need to create a material to hold this shader so let's create new material circuit and apply the shader to it by dragging the shader on the material then we drag the material to the back face of our card then here comes the role of the tiling and offset nodes where we can stretch the texture to cover the whole back face of the card nicely. So keep adjusting the tiling and offset till you get a uh, satisfying results. The next step is to add the circuit texture. So let's create new sample texture 2D and add new property texture 2D and let's name it circuit texture. Also, we repeat what we did for the main texture by adding tiling and offset node and adding controls for the tiling and offset by creating two new vector twos, one for the tiling and another for the offset. Then we need to add the circuit texture above the main texture. To do so, we will need a blend node to blend between both of them. And we will use the difference blend mode with an opacity 0.5 to show that clearly. Then connect the final result to the base color again. Let's save and see what we got in the scene. As you can see, we can now see the circuit texture above the main texture. We only need to adjust a bit the tiling and offset to get a nice texture of the circuit that covers the card. So keep playing with those values till the texture cover the card without having any cuts on the texture. The final step is to create glowy light that only renders inside the circuit texture. And I found that the best way is to create a Voronoi node because it creates random circles that we will move a long time. So let's start by creating a Voronoi node, then we create a tiling and offset node. So we need to move those on the Y axis over time. So we create a multiply node. We multiply the time with 
a vector 2. The vector 2 will control the direction and the speed of the Voronoi node. So multiply that with the time, then multiply, oh, sorry, connect that to the offset on the tiling and offset node. As you can see, if we set the tiling to minus one on the Y axis, the circles start to move up, but they are very smooth and we need to create sharp edges for those circles. And to do so, we will use a step node. Put a node to the edge and set the int value to around 0 0.25. After that, to make the moving circles rendering only inside the circuit texture, we will use a LERP node to LERP between the zero value, which means nothing, to the Voronoi results using the circuit texture as a mask. As you can see in the LERP, we started seeing the circles moving only inside the circuit texture, which visually appears as a glowy light or information moving inside the circuit. We need to add that glowy light above everything, so we simply use an add node to add this glow above the final results we got previously. Then we connect that again to the base color node on the master node. If we save and go back to the scene, now we can see the glowy lights rendering inside our scene on the card. There is one final thing left, is to control the color of those glowy lights. So we go back to our shader graph and create a new property. Maybe we name it glow color over the color. Then we multiply it with the Voronoi near results before lerping them with the circuit texture. So create a multiply node, then create uh, a color property and connect both of those uni using the multiply node. Then replace the colored Voronoi with the non-colored one by connecting that to the B on the LERP node. Save and go back to the scene. Now you can control the color of those glowy lights inside the integrated circuit. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the notification bell so you keep updated with our quality tutorials. We really appreciate the generous support on Patreon website and thanks to all patrons who keep donating and encouraging us to publish a quality tutorials. And remember, by becoming a patron, you can download all our project files that we published on our channel. The next video, see you soon.